On the school watch, the nationwide teacher shortage continues to affect schools on the central coast. One local district is getting an early start to recruiting teachers. Action News reporter Bianca Beltran reports. While most students might be looking forward to spring break or summer, schools are looking ahead to the next school year. In the Monterey Peninsula School District, there are at least 30 vacancies, and that number is expected to rise as more teachers retire. We've had to have a couple of long-term subs uh, in our schools, so two. Um, and the challenge is, you know, when you don't have a credential teacher in there, um, we have to kind of supplement and oversee more of the administrative side of, the, of things in the house. With the ongoing national teacher shortage, principals are competing for the best teachers to fill their open spots. The biggest need is in math, science, and special education. I think that not too many people are entering into the teacher credentialing in those areas, and I think that's uh, because um, math majors are going on to be engineers, are going on to be computer science uh, software engineers. Um, they have a lot of, I think, different opportunities opportunities to make more money. Starting teacher salary at MPUSD is about $42,000, which is comparable to other parts of the country, but the cost of living can be tough. My wife and I are both teachers, and um, the pay has always been a challenge. Uh, there are comparable professionals that get paid a lot more than we do, and uh, for my wife and I, it's been a struggle uh, basically to get our own kids to go to college. The district introduced a tuition reimbursement program last year and is getting creative with ways to attract teachers. A long-term goal is to provide housing for teachers to help with the cost of living, but of course, that's a project that will take some time. Reporting in Seaside, Bianca Beltran, KSBW Action News 8.